Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore, where I show and sell lots of beautiful jewelry from vintage to modern costume jewelry, sometimes antique, sterling, stone, and occasionally gold. So today I have a jewelry haul from the estate guy, as I call him. I went out to the estate store. Um, they buy people's estates out and then sell it within a, a large store. So I was out there and I picked up some pieces. I did some hand selection of pieces. Um, and I think I got some pretty great pieces. I'll start showing them in just a minute. Before I get started, I'd like to ask you to give me a thumbs up and a comment, if you would please, to help my channel and my business grow. I'd really, really appreciate it. And, um, what else? Oh, subscribe to my channel if you watch and you're not subscribed yet. And if you're a first-time subscriber, I mean, viewer, and you like what you see, subscribe so you don't miss my auctions, my sales, and my viewings as I'm showing here. I will be on tomorrow, Monday, April the 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And I will be offering this and jewelry that I showed in my Friday video as well. Um, so let me get started. I'm going to start off with this because I'm super excited about it. And it's a little beat, but it looks great. All right. Uh, I mean, it's great to me because I, I like it. Look, it's some kind of creature. All right. This is an Art Nouveau piece. Um, typically, I'm not comfortable identifying. All right. Um, let's give credit where credit's due. I, I watched Jason Adams' um, Art Nouveau video, and it helped me feel a little more comfortable about it. Um, so when I was looking, I found a couple pieces that I thought were possibly Art Nouveau. This one I was able to even confirm because of that marking C and R that is Charles and R. Hettel, H-E-T-T-E-L. And he was making jewelry during the Art Nouveau period. They don't have an original pin, but these to C clasp and this is original hair. And that is a piece of, um, it's crystal. He worked a lot with crystal. I did some reading on the man. Um, I knew it wasn't an amethyst right off. I didn't think it was because of the damage to it. But I was excited once I realized what it was. It's really my first piece that I, of a brooch that I, um, identified comfortably in my head as actually being Art Nouveau. And I think it's an amazing, uh, brooch, even though it's a little beat. He's some kind of creature. See how it has that back there? And, um... I don't know what else is going on there, but flowers on the edge. Looks like pineapples and this creature on both sides. But I may keep that since it's my very first comfortable find with an Art Nouveau brooch. And this is brass with a gold splash over it. Um, like it's like a gilt being gilt with gold or splashed a wash over it. I think it's cool. I was excited about it. I know it's beat up looking, but at the same time, to me, I, I think it's fabulous. I want to replace the pin, um, which I could do. That's not that hard, and um, or tighten this thing that they put on there. And I'll probably keep it. I can wear it on my scarf. I found that. <clears throat> I have this one too. I'm not really certain about this. Okay, again, it's, it's up in here. Now I, I believe repose, and I believe die stamp on this, like. It's slightly raised and it's closed. You can tell this, like they have this back panel that they put on it. I don't think that's an original clasp to this. Not quite sure on the dating. Now, <clears throat> this isn't like, I guess, but anyways, I guess that's all I can have to say about that. I don't want to bore you too much. Let me get to what I found, but it's beautiful and it's a large one. It's like two and a half, three inches on this. Yeah, I think it's nice. Um, not 100% on it, though. All right, now let me get into, I found um, a lot of cost, not a whole lot. I don't have a whole lot. Sometimes I have a lot more, but I have enough. This is a very beautiful vintage um, stone necklace. I'll be bringing all this tomorrow. I'm not going to pre-sell. i got to get to my to my work, okay, house work and so forth. Um, agate, amethyst, rose quartz. More agate. I'm not sure. It's kind of like an Amazonite or something. This is a really, really beautiful piece of citrine quartz. I mean, that's 
that is when I first saw the necklace. That's what drew my eye to it. But it's a vintage one. Um, it's not, it's, it's silver tone. It's, it's not a, it's a base metal. It's not silver or gold. I did test it. You have these caps on it. This is definitely vintage. I don't know exactly how old, um, but it's a beautiful stone necklace. It has caps and the stones are very nice. Lovely. I thought that was beautiful. I have a really long agate. I mean, this is humongous. And it's um, knotted in between with really thick knots. This is super long. And there's a variety of different type of agate on it in color. It's really long. <laughs> I never pass it up. It's hard for me to. All right. So I think this is really beautiful. Hematite, um, that's what that looks like there. Black glass, um, I don't see a name on it. I feel there should be one. It has a Jayhawk that's uh, connected, well connected on there, it's original. This is like a gunmetal finish. There's the back. I thought it was very pretty, I like it. It's a beautiful necklace. Everything's fully pronged. It's a nice necklace there. I have a Joan Rivers. This is fire polished check glass. Joan Rivers. Um, I've sold a number of these. This is strung on some kind of fabric and separated by little or glass beads in the middle, you see. It's nice. It's got a lot of flexibility to it. The colors are pretty nice. It's a long necklace. It has a lobster claw clasp, an extender, Joan Rivers sign, hang tag, and then that right there. <laughs> I would double it up. It's real long. Okay, I thought it was nice. Um, these are really beautiful. I have two of them. Found them in the same box. I you know, I go there and he, he can, I get to go through boxes that he has that he bought. Um, so this is a barrel clasp, as you can see. We have the snail chain and different shapes, diamonds, circles, a circle, and then a oval lake and beautiful crystals, beautiful clear crystals. This is a lovely necklace, and I have another one. I, I I will sell them separate, but some of you may be interested in getting both of them. Look how beautiful the crystal is. Though. Like a shiny loveliness there. I have that one. And then I have a slightly longer one right here. Same type of thing. These are a set, I believe. I found them in the same box. See how long it is. Beautiful barrel clasp snail chain. Um, S chain, I think it's called a snail chain, right? Am I making that up? Look how lovely they look together. And that's enough right there, just to these two, I think, for layering. I'm not over an over layer person, but I'm also not a fashionista. I could never, I wouldn't call myself that. I'm a pretty simple person, but I think both of these together are absolutely beautiful necklaces. Then I found these, let me show you some little Joan Rivers earrings because I like the Joan Rivers jewelry, especially, these are nice. These are her loose side convertibles. And I like the fact that these are the, you know, have the safety back. I just dropped them. Um, they're Paris earrings. Look at that loose side that I put in there in the pink, it's beautiful. So they'll be caged, they're caged in there. And these are foil back loose side pieces. Paris with the safety. Nice. Look at all the colors you have. Red, beautiful blue, green, yellow, <laughs> a different color red, like purple, that. What else? Anything different I didn't show? I showed that one. 
showed the bright red, lovely purple, very lovely blue. So Joan Rivers, um, black even, nice, I like the black. Very nice uh, and lovely green, which I think I already showed. So really nice pair of Joan Rivers. Uh, it's not an original bag, but it works. Interchangeable 10 pairs of loose sight foil bat Joan River earrings you can have there. These are very lovely Vendome. These are um, higher end Van, 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 Vendome. They're signed Vendome. They are a clip that you can tighten with this or loosen to get tension on them. You have the matte finished textured bead in the center. Um, and Ryan's, the rondelles and the beautiful, look how beautiful that citrine colored crystal is. These are Vendome mid-century, 60s probably, something like that. Beautiful though, I thought they were nice. I never pass them up um, when I see them. I thought these ones were cool. Let me show these. These don't have a name on them. Um, I don't know the dating even on them really. I'm gonna say 1980s, it's a guess, 90s, but look. You have three, three, three tone, and we move and we see different, like blue, pink, and like a purplish clips, gold tone, pronged. They're not real heavy. I think they're cool. These are Laguna. These are beautiful, actually. Just sold a pair of the color ones, and they, they looked like real close to these, but I got those from him, too. And here's the, here's a pair of beautiful... AB Clear um, Crystal uh, Laguna. They are signed L A G U N A in the back. Those are about two inches. They're really nice. I have a couple necklaces. Um, I have this too. Oh, uh, this one looks West Germany. You see the stat, the design. And you have AB Crystal, AB rhinestones going around it. And this is like a tie, um, like a tiger glass behind there like the pattern. Um, I think it's really nice. You have the gold um, like painted on top of there. And I do believe that's a West Germany. At least it looks like it. There's the back. There's no marking. It's nice. I haven't been buying these, but that one I did. All right. So I have this. It's really lovely. I like the clasp. It's a box clasp. And you have um, the citrine yellow color and clear crystal. Going down, look how pretty. I think it's beautiful. I like these necklaces though. Um, the clasp is nice on it. All right, so I have that one. I have this as well. This is very nice actually quality. It's a spring ring clasp and you have the bicone like different sizes. It's graduated getting bigger to a degree. Get to the bottom. You have the larger ones. So this is clear um, as you can see obviously. Um, glass. I don't think this is crystal. Well no it's shining like crystal. Okay. It's beautiful, I think. So it's it's just all clear though, and then I have the yellow one. And I have these. I don't know who the maker is. <sighs> these are hoops. Um and they have little panthers on them. Look. They're nice. They are nice. The plating on the inside, it's very smooth. I don't see a maker's mark. And then you have the like silver tone that is like a matte finish type thing on silver tone if you can call it that i think so right and look they look tough there's <laughs> hoop earrings no name with some i think those are panthers on there Rural. okay that's it it's on a real big haul i don't think i'm doing a uh preview video because it seems really redundant look at this video and look at the video i released on friday most of it's still available a little bit of it sold 
Um, I, there are things I said I wouldn't sell, so that didn't sell. All of this will come tomorrow, as well as the things I said that I wouldn't, I wasn't going to pre-sell, and then some of the stuff I was going to pre-sell still left. Like, I only sold a handful of pieces, maybe 10 tops. Not even. All right, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.